Pregame.com. We have Oregon and Kansas State. A great contrast in styles. We're going to go to VR with this one. Oregon's an eight and a half point favorite. Total 75. I got to tell you, I am really looking forward to watching this game. VR, tell us your thoughts. I, I really am too. This is the one, as soon as the bowl schedule came out, I wanted to watch this game. Here's the thing. We know when it comes to bowls, you need to be able to try to draw a conclusion on which is the more motivated team. And in this matchup, we have two teams where – both had dreams of playing in the BCS championship game. Absolutely. Both lost one game before their final game of the season, or else they'd have an argument to play. But what impressed me with both teams is that the following game, their last game of the season, where usually you'd have that BCS meltdown, both of them not only won, they covered. So I, I think we're going to get – Two teams that really are okay with playing in this game. I don't think it's going to be any letdown situation for mm -hmm. any team. So I, I see it pretty fair there. Because of that, you got to just trust the number. And I think this number is a little short. I, I really do. I think Oregon should be laying double digits in this spot because speed kills. Yeah. And I think they're going to have a huge speed advantage. As great of a season as Kansas State's had, I think Oregon's just at a different level. And strength of schedule is just night and day. And when you look at this Oregon team, second in points scored, 26th in points allowed against some pretty good ball clubs. Mm -hmm. And their biggest edge is going to be that running game. This is a team that 6.1 yards per rushing attempt. And I think they're going to have some success being able to run the ball in Kansas State just like they did against USC. And even though Kansas State has a better yards per pass attempt, the advanced metrics, they only average about 15 completions a game. So it's a little misleading just looking at the raw data. To me, it just comes down to who has the better athletes, and I really think Oregon does. And as long as it's a motivated team, mm -hmm. which I think that's what we're going to get, this is a number that they could easily cover. I was looking at the under as well. I don't think Kansas State's going to have a lot of success throwing the ball or running the ball against this Oregon defense. We always talk about Oregon, how good they are offensively. When I broke this matchup down, I was more impressed on how good they are defensively. Yeah, probably and Kelly's I, best defensive team. Exactly. And I think that's going to be the difference maker, that they're going to be able to stop Kansas State. But I don't think Kansas State's going to be able to stop Oregon much. Sure. I, I'm going to expand on you, what you just talked about with the defense because during the season, this Oregon defense got banged up. In fact, not only yeah. not only their linebackers, but the the backup. You know, seven guys. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. From the from the beginning roster. Now they've had all this time to get healthy. I think that's something that's really flying under the radar. Yeah. I think yeah. some of the sharp money, like you said, has come in on the under. That's one of the underlining reasons because the defense is going to be not only the starting but the depth. I mean, their depth was even banged up. Now you're right. going to get. And I saw this team shut out Arizona. I held Arizona. State State to 21 points when that defense was healthy. We know at Kansas State, look at them how you want. And both these teams are well coached, but a little bit one-dimensional offensively. Yeah, exactly. And we see these teams. When you have a month to prepare for a one-dimensional exactly. offense, sometimes that's a, a big plus. I think that's, that's a key thing there. I think I don't think Kansas State will be able to stop Oregon. Might be able to slow them down, but I don't think they're going to be able to stop them. I agree with VR here. My question I want to ask, and I did not bet this game. I've gone back and forth on this because I really think... I did early on, game. too. I, I leaned Kansas State at first until I really started breaking the game down. My question is, can, can, can Kansas State prevent Oregon from getting to the edge? I mean, Oregon on offense. Around those corners. Can, yeah, can, that's where I see... I don't think can so. Can they stop them from getting to the edge? I, I don't know that they can either. Chuck, do you have an opinion? I lean, I lean VR, like I said, you know, I, I, offensively, I know Kansas, uh, they're going to outscore outscore Kansas State. I think defensively we're going to see a, a healthier defense here. Uh, not a, a huge play for me, but I definitely lean the, the VR way here. And I, both coach, very, both teams very well coached. Only, I think they're both very well. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. And the motivated only, and all that. I agree. Yeah. That's why it's going to be a great yeah. game. The only concern I had on this Oregon squad is we have a freshman quarterback in Marietta. That's the only concern. And this is a, yeah. not a freshman game. anymore. Exactly. Yeah. There you go. But when you look at his stats, this kid's six touchdowns to, I mean, 30 touchdowns to six interceptions. Yeah. He's already played some big games. So I think he's going to be just fine here. Yeah. I like the Oregon team. Yeah, it should be a Heisman Trophy candidate next year. Absolutely. I agree. You know, so we'll, we'll see what happens. All right, we've talked about it. Let's go ahead and make it official. They're playing in Arizona. Big game, Kansas State, Oregon. I'm going to go with the favorite in this one. 
I know Kansas State looks tempting, 11-1 and one straight up this year, catching all those points and covering a lot of numbers, but I think Chuck Edel said it best. When you're one-dimensional and you have one of the best defenses in college football that's a little bit undervalued and finally healthy, with a month to prepare, I think they'll be able to stop Kansas State offensively, and we know what Oregon's offense could do already, so... Laying less than double digits to me is a steal. Yeah, should be a great game. I really, this is, I, I tell you the truth, I want to watch this game more than I want to watch the Alabama. I, 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 I agree. agree. I agree. I agree. I agree. I'm with you. This one and, I didn't bet the, the Alabama one. game either. This so. one and the next one that you're doing, the Oklahoma Texas A&M yeah. game. Well, that's a, that's, that yeah. dude, that's, I'm be, slicked up for that one. Okay. Me too. Speaking of that, we're going to hear from Chuck Edel in just a minute. So don't forget, you can watch all our videos at pregame.tv. Coming up next, we're going to hear Chuck Edel talk about Oklahoma and Texas A&M. That should be a good Johnny game. football. Johnny.